right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for the second half. The Centralia Band played an interesting arrangement or an interesting choice for their for their show. For their field show music, they played two selections from their field show music. Uh, Star Wars main theme and a song by Bruno Mars. I'm not quite sure what the connection is between Star Wars and Bruno Mars. But that's the Centralia Field Show for the year. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the Indians have re returned to the field. About a minute and a half on the clock. On the half time clock. The uh, Panthers are still in the locker room. Here they come. Clark County trails Centralia 21 to nothing here. Uh, closer game than the score than the score might indicate. The uh, Indians gave up a 41 and a 45 yard touchdown run in quick succession early in the second quarter after holding Centralia scoreless in the first. Centralia had to fight their way for a, for a third now, touchdown with about three minutes left in the, in the second quarter. So Giving, giving uh, Centralia the 21 21 nothing score at halftime. Clark County is really, um, other than those two big plays, has been really pretty solid at the defensive line. They just haven't been able to get the push on the offensive line to uh, get the runners and the receivers uh, free and in the clear, where they can where they can uh, get some yardage and get some points on the board. But hopefully, Coach Allen's made some made some uh, adjustments over the half, and Clark County will get the ball to start the second half. So maybe they can um, make something happen right away and get back into this contest. And there's the whistle, so we should be back to action here in just a couple minutes. So Trey is still warming up the far end. Indians are getting jacked up here, ready to play. Welcome back to our viewers. I see a lot of you have returned. If you're enjoying Indian football, please do two things. First of all, email or call or somebody, a friend right now, and tell them that Indian football is live and anyone who's down there. Join us next week at home when we're when we host uh, it's Macon at home next week. A little bit of a breeze coming up from the south, well, south to north, straight up the field. Right now, uh, it's, it's dark now, so I can't see what the sky is doing. Uh, obviously, it's overcast. The other thing I'd like you to do besides tell a friend is. Uh, Make sure you support the media, folks. We do all we do this. Uh, we're really pushing on the video side of things. Uh, you know, it's it's our it's our subscribers and our advertisers that at this point that are that are footing the bill for everything. So if you like if you like the videos we're posting, whether it's the live stream, uh, whether it's the live stream broadcast or coverage of uh, city meetings or just videos from around the community of other things. Uh, we sure appreciate your support. Uh, it, it does take time and money to make these things happen, but we want to happen. We want to make them happen for you. And uh, I'm a strong believer that video is a big part of the future of the news, of the print newspaper uh, business. You know, we've we've been around for 130 or whatever, 135, 140 years, serving Clark County, and intend to be there for a lot longer. But the business is changing, and being able to bring you live football on a Friday night. We wouldn't have even thought of a year or two ago. So we're really excited that we're doing it for you. Uh, clock's winding down now, 45 seconds till game time. So we're gonna be rejoining Indian football action. This is Clark County Indian football on NemoNews.net brought to you by the media.
The referees are taking midfield. I think the Indians will be going against the wind in this, but I'm not sure. Take a little walk here. Receive the kickoff. Connors and Pruitt in the mid-range position. Let's go, Let's go, Dave. Let's go. Teaming up the Panthers number 30. He's got his job to do. I've got mine. We can hopefully get along just fine. There's the kick. It's high. Going to be fielded by Mac. Rever reverse to Hunsiker. Let's go, Taylor! The Indian fans have their opinion. Raindrop, that's a good sign. Indians. Sprinkles of rain, nothing serious going on. <coughs> We're to stay with you until it becomes an absolute downpour. And then we'll have to see what happens. Bowden oh, looking to pass. And it looks like it's an interception by Centralia. Number 10, Centralia ball at the 26. Not a good break for the Indians. 11 14. There's that Indian defense. There's the Indian defense stepping up and making the hit. And two, second and nine. Braden Kirchner on the stop. Second and nine at the Indian 25. Palmyra ball. They lead 21 to nothing here early in the second half. Indians got the opening kickoff of the half, uh, got sacked, and then threw an interception. This one strings out to the left. Doesn't look like it's going to be much of any game. There is a flag on the play over there. I cannot see what it is from my angle. The legal shift signaled against the Panthers. A flag against the Panthers, so it's going to back them up. Penalty was an illegal shift. A few more sprinkles coming down. Looks to be a little bit heavier now. Lucky us. Oh, yeah, 
five yard penalty. And it's ticked penalty going to be second and 14. Back at the Clark County 30 yard line. 10 26 remaining here in the third quarter. We're just underway here in the second half. Another flag on the play. Back in Panthers at the end. All stars. Going to make it second and 19. So that's a good break for the Indians. Let's just see if they can capitalize on that. 10 24 remaining in the third quarter. Clark County Trail 21 0. Centralia ball. Looking to get a stop here. Quarterback rules. And oh! Brought down by number 58, Luke Sidor on the on the tackle. Almost picked off and gone. It was almost a pick six there. It's going to be a Centralia first down at the about the 16 yard line. Yeah, the announcer doesn't know how to say Cedar. At least Hunsiger's close. <laughs> Quarterback back to pass. Oh, off an Indian, and then incomplete. Out of Brayton Pruitt's hand. Or, yes, Brayton Pruitt's hands. Hit him right in the chest, and hit his pads and bounced out. Brings up third and eight for Palmyra, or Centralia. I want to keep saying Palmyra tonight, Ruth. Why is that? They're close. They're closer. We'd rather. <laughs> <laughs> They're closer to home. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> third and eight for Centralia. Quarterback look at the pass under a lot of pressure. Pass completion number 37, and he's in the end zone. See what's going on here, folks. I'll see if I can. I got a drop of rain on the on the camera lens here. It'll quit now. I got my. So give me a moment here while the action stopped, and I will see if I can get rid of that because that's making all kinds of bright colors on on what you're seeing. Telephoto there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep them off there. I'll wipe it occasionally here, folks. And we're back to football. Mac and Hunsiger deep. Going to be fielded by Mac. 
Kentucky is getting upfield. And a decent return for the Indians. They got a couple blocks. Fielded at about the 15. Out to. Thirty-two yard line or so. Let's take a little walk down here past the bench and watch the Indians come at us. They're taking their position. The rain's a little bit at our back at the moment, so it shouldn't get on the camera lens anyhow. Quick pass to Pruitt. Quick pass out to Pruitt. Picked up a couple. By number 37, Clayton Marty, and number 10, Kylan Dickerson. Reception made by number 9, Cameron Mock. Three yard gain on the play brings up second and seven for the Indians from their own 35 yard line. No way! Boltman's pass knocked down. Pass knocked down by number nine, Cameron. Bring up the third and seven. Knocked down by number two, Nick McCoy. Brings up third down. Third Gonna reach in front of the lens here again, folks, and try to get another raindrop off it. Okay, that's a little better, folks. At least what I'm seeing. Boltman on a keeper. He's heading to his right, cutting up field. Picked up three or four. Going to be short of the first down. Jackson Evans and Chase Harper on the tackle. Ball carried by number 32, Shaw Hunziker. Fourth and four or so. Gain of two on the play brings up fourth and five. Gain of two on the play. Thought he got a little more than that. But. Fourth and five. Both of the punts away. Nice high punt. Fielded by number two. Runs into some traffic. Breaks free of the traffic. Gets to the far sideline. We run out of bounds somewhere near the 40. We're going to run it downfield here. Alex Wall for the Indians. Like Alex Worrell on the stop. Let's get the camera locked down. It got away from me there for a second. A little bit of a breeze, and the rain makes things just a little cha more challenging than normal. I'm going to try to wipe the lens again here while we're stopped. I'm try to stay in a position where the rain is at my back a little bit. And. motion there, but no flag. Quarterback. Quarterback keeper. Pick up a yard or two, brought down by Adam Connors. Tackle made by number two, Adam Connors. Got some new viewers from the first half. We got more than we did at any point in the first half, so welcome to NemoNews.net. This is Mike Scott. Uh, glad you're with us tonight. Unfortunately, the Indians are trailing 27 to nothing. Here in Centralia. And there's a pitch. Pitch number five. Uh, to the sidelines and taken out. Couldn't see who took him out of bounds. But it's going to be a first down. Boatman dove. Didn't quite get him by the foot. Could first out of bounds by number seven, Leighton Bradley for the Indians. Leighton Bradley forced him out, I think. That's what the announcer said. From the Indian Honestly, I don't see him on the field, but... Sorry. Going to have a water break here, 6.34. 
Centralia leading 27 to nothing right now. It is a closer game than the, than the score might indicate. Fort County's given up uh, two fairly big, uh, big run touchdowns. They they gave up a 41-yard touchdown early in the second and a 45-yard touchdown just a couple minutes later. Centuria had to Centuria had to put together a 52-yard drive for their third touchdown in the first half. And an interception set up a, sh a short touchdown for them here in the third quarter. So, 6.44, we're back to action. Centralia ball. Oh, no. A lot of wrestling, maybe a yard. Sam Hayes camp for the carry. Hey, tackle! Go in there, Joe. Just have it up. Go tackle. Tackle me. Let's go, Lord! The rain has let up a little bit. Try to get that spot off the lens. I wonder if I can get a lens shield for this little telephoto lens for the iPhone. Second and seven. 607. Slant Joe. Third quarter. There's a slant. And they're going nowhere. Nick Roman with the ball. Let's go, Lord! Five forty-eight remaining. Third and seven. Now. Going to move down just a little bit. And number twenty-two. Number thirty-two. Sean Hunziker brings up a third and nine for the Panthers from the Indian forty-eight. Third and nine for Centralia from the forty-eight. So we push him back a couple yards. Pitch to number 22 on the side. Tackled by number 11. There's a flag behind the pitch. Flag on the play. Number 11 was Joe Crowell who took him out of bounds. So. like a holding penalty, so going to take Palmyra back, going to make it third and 19, with 5.17 left in this third quarter. Time, it would be a good time. Some, one of the Indian fans on the, side, on the sideline said stuff them right here, and i got to agree it would be a good time for that. Get the stop here, get the ball, get the ball with good field position, and then make something happen. Ten seconds left on the play clock. Of course, the clock is Centralia's friend right now. Pass completion over the center. Maybe slipped on a little bit of wet grass. He's sh it's short of the first down. Fourth down and... Fourth down and four or so. Inside of five minutes of the third quarter. He may have slipped on some damp grass out there in the center of the field. But at any rate, that was a good break for the Indians that he slipped because he was going down before he was hit by Mack. His motion, pitch to the back, number 22. Russell out of bounds by Mack. And they didn't find. They wrestled him out of bounds. They turned it over on downs. And that's down the long 41 yard line. Clark County, first and 10 at the 41. So the Panthers failed to convert the, the fourth down. Let's see what we do here. Before I move the camera, there's handoff to Hunsiker. 
Going to maybe get a yard. There's an awful lot of motion at the line. Number 55, Trey Taft, and number 56, Logan Ross, combined on the tackle. Ball carried by number 32, Shaw Hunziker for the Indians. Play goes for no gain, brings up second. Again, no gain, Indians second and ten. Looking to pass, it's going to be long out of bounds. Incomplete to Connors. Connors. Long and out of bounds. Going to bring up third down. That one sailed out of bounds. Connor couldn't have caught it. Connors could not have caught that ball. Going to bring up third and ten at the 41. 352 left on the third quarter. and Hunsaker. Boatman got rid of the ball. And can see it can be fourth down. Brings him a fourth down. Fourth and ten for the Indians from their own Fourth and ten for Clark County. The rain has backed off to just an occasional sprinkle right now. All right. Pruitt and Mack are wide to the left. And there's the punt. Fielded by number two. Ball on the ground. And he is wrestled to the ground immediately. No return. So, Centralia ball at the 26. 340 left in the third quarter. You can't really see that. It's too bright. Hey, hey, I want people moving. I want people moving. All right. Keep moving. Back up just a little further so we can see, see behind the line. Hey, it's going up front. Let's go. Let's go. Motion, pitch to number seven, going to the far side. It's going to be number oh, five or six yards. Will carry. For being wrestled, at, wrestled down. Tackle made by number 32, Shaw Hunziker. Shaw Hunziker on the stop. It's going to be second and one, it looks like. Nine-yard gain on the burden. Run, brings up second and one from the Panther 35. And go on! And a handoff to 22. Cut down by Connors cut him down. Connors cut his legs and Mack brought him down. But it's good for the first down. 326 left in the third quarter. Roll on! Let's go! I'm going in! Quarterback keeper, but he got a first down out of it. A lot of Indians trying to wrestle him down. First and ten, Centralia. First and ten from the Clark County 40-yard line. Come on, Indians! Thanks for <laughs> 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 Tackle by 
97, Clayton Murray with a carry. Tackle made by number 32, Shaw Hunziker. Good for a six yard game, brings up second and four for the Panthers from the Indian 42 yard line. I think there was a false start there. Quarterback. Call. Quarterback keeper. Good for a couple. Number 14, Nick Romine on the carry. That's good for Centralia Panthers. First and 10, Centralia from the Indian 35. Another Centralia first down there. Five on the end. Good job. Flag on the play. Good Five stacks in one against the Panthers. Fifteen seconds on the play clock. The play is set. Go, Tony! Go, Tony! All right. Clayton Marty on the carry. Didn't get too much for yardage there. Tackle made by number two, Adam Connors, number thirty-two, Shaw Hunziker. And I think Tony Corvaya may have been on, in on that tackle too. <clears throat> Yes, he's number 25. I think he was in on the tackle also. He's looking. He wants something. Looking to pass. And he's being pursued by Corvaya. Turns him around. And the pass. He rolled incomplete across the field. Good pressure from Tony Corvaya on that. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Indians trail 27 to nothing. Third and 14 for a Centralia ball. They've got the ball on the Indian 39. Down to the 15 yard line. Pullback run there. First and 10 on the 15. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Centralia through the center for about six, maybe second and four. 20 seconds left in the quarter. They're probably going to move to the other end. Probably by number 20, Garrett Brammer with the Indians. Garrett Brammer on the tackle. Brings up a second and three for the Panthers. And we're going to take a walk to the other end. So we're going to the fourth quarter here. Clark County leads, or Clark County trails 27 to nothing.
Penny cheerleaders, ladies and gentlemen. There's some of our fans in attendance tonight. We're taking a walk in at the other end of the field. It's a quarter change. Centrae will have the ball second and three on the yard line, leading 27 to nothing. Smile shot. <laughs> Twelve minutes remaining in the game. Fourth quarter. Second and three on the eight yard line. Let's get a defensive stand here. There's some motion. False start on Centralia. Going to back him up. Going to be second and eight on the 13 now. Remain second down, second and eight for the Panthers from the Indian 13. All right. I've been taking a lot of pictures here tonight, folks. I didn't think I was, but I just looked at the counter, and, well, there's a, there's a central touchdown, 13-yard touchdown run. I'm taking over 100 photos tonight. I will have those posted online also. He's up 33 to nothing. Looking to kick the extra point. It's up, it's good. It's 34 to nothing. <laughs> it's bigger than Cahoka, but I think it's I think it's three or four thousand, but it might be as much as five. I don't know. It could be. But that would make it key cut size, so I, I really don't know. Discussing with Ruth Brotherton how big Centralia is. Uh, 4,000. I was close. One of the locals says it's about four ish, so. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying 8 to 10. 8 to 10. I think that put him in a bigger class. Yeah. No. Okay. 4,000. It'd be nice if your town was 10. It'd be nice if our town was 10. How much is Clark County? 22, something like that for Cahoka. It's a long drive, though, isn't it? It is. <laughs> and it's an onside kick. It's going to roll out of bounds here. Right at my feet. Ball went out of bounds right here at my feet at the 25. Correction at the 30. Yeah, it was at the 20, 35. Looks like they're going to. First and 10 from their own 35 yard line. And we're going to take the ball at 35. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can make something happen again. Bowman looking long. He's got somebody, and there's a flag on the play. Bowman's pass incomplete. Flag on the play. Pass timer number 11, Joe Crowell. Pass interference signal against the Panthers. The Centralia pass interference. Well, oh, that's a good that's a good break for us. Let's walk. Right on the 
50 yard line. First and 10, Clark County. Let's make it happen, Indians. Boatman rolling to pass, looking, and it's out. Thrown well out of bounds. I had a shot of catching that, but that wouldn't have been a good thing. It was, yeah, I was I just people that I had a shot of catching that, Brian, but I played trumpet, not ball, so. <clears throat> Coach Brian Flange there. All right, second and ten right at the 50. 11.41 left in the game. Boatman handoff to Klein. Chase Harper and Jackson Evans combined on the stop. Ball carried by number 44, Faden Klein for the Indians. Play goes for no game. No gain on that. Gonna be, it says third and ten. Third and ten for the 50 yard line. Indians trail this one 34 to nothing. <clears throat> After a scoreless first quarter, it's been all Centralia. Indian defense has actually done a pretty good job of of uh, holding their line, but I think they're getting a little tired now. Boatman looking to throw, and that one's coming out of bounds too. Sort of intended for Connor. Boatman pass incomplete. Brings up fourth and ten. Indians will probably be punting here. <coughs> Inside of 11 minutes left in the game. Back to punt. Kind of an end over end punt. Hits the ground at about the 25. Rolls, rolls, rolls down about maybe the 11 yard line. Or it's going to be down. 12 yard line. So, going to be first down, Centralia. Timeout Centralia. 10.48 remaining in the game. Timeout Centralia. <laughs> Centralia, well in control of this game, folks. 34 to nothing. Centralia ball on the 12. On, it's on their own 12. First plunge out on the field, giving some instructions here. And the Indian defense is taking their place. There's the whistle, should bring the Centralia offense back to their place. Fairly fast game, folks. It's only nine o'clock here. Let's go, you got this. Hand off up the center. Not back to the original line of scrimmage. Going to be, going to be about second and eleven now. Fumble on the play, recovered by Clark County. Oh, they're seeing a fumble on the play, recovered by the Indians. I did not see that. They weren't celebrating it. So Clark County ball at the 11 yard line. Fantastic break for the Indians. Fantastic break for the Indians. They recover 
for the fumble recovery at the 11. 10-42, Clark County ball on the Centralia 12. It's the closest they've threatened all evening. There's a flag, probably going to be motion on Clark County. False start against the Indians. False start against Clark County. Going to back him up, going to make it first and 10 on the or first and 15 on the 17 yard line. Leighton Bradley in. Twenty-one seconds, twenty seconds on the play clock. Indians are lining up. Ten thirty-nine left in the game. Indians first down and fifteen at the seventeen yard line. The deepest they threatened. Pass over center. Picked off at the goal line. By Centralia. Centralia ball at the four. What a disappointing break for Clark County. Here we go, fellas. The defense just stepped inside and grabbed that ball and Centralia ball. Looks like right on the five yard line is where they spotted it. Well, maybe the Indians can get another break, another fumble or an interception of their own and put some points on the board before they go home. The Centralia push is just pretty strong. Got a first down. And the seconds hardly come off the clock. 10.25 remaining now. Right and Pruitt was working a receiver there pretty hard. But it was well away from the play. Good for four yards, brings up second and six for the Panthers from their own 24 yard line. Second and six, Centralia at the 24. Probably enough for a first down there with a push, push through the center. They're moving the chains. 9.47 remaining in the game, and Centre is still on the roll. And off through the center, number 15, tackled by. Faden Klein picked up about five or six yards. Nice tackle by Klein. Looks like uh, second and two, second and three. Eight yard gain on the play brings up second and two for the Panthers in their own 39 yard line. Once again, at number 15 up the center. Jackson Evans with a carry. Several Indians on the tackle. Tackle made by number 25, Troy Corbin for the Indians. Smith. Second and seven now. Centralia just moving the ball two, three yards at a time. There's a pitch. There's a flag. Must have been a motion penalty. It's against Centralia. Going to back them up. Make it, make it second and 12 or so. 8.15 remaining in the game. 
Centralia leads 34 to nothing. Main second down, second and 12 with the Panthers from their own 39 yard line. Once again, a number 15. Quite a pop on the hit. Cody Nance, I believe, on the stop there. It was a good solid hit. Tackle made by number 23, Dalton Albert for the Indians. Brings up a third down, third and one for the Panthers from the 50 yard line. Slant to the right. Number 19, Trent Smith. But they the are keeper. just picking up two and three and four yards at a time. Uh, that's good for Centralia yeah. Panthers. First and ten Centralia from the Indian 46. And the sky's breaking up. We've got a nice full moon. We have a pretty full moon over the Indians here. There's a flag on the play. False start signal against Centralia. Another false start on Centralia. First and 15 at the 49 yard line. Trent Smith on the carry. Indian defensive line is still fighting. Tackle made by number 49, Cody Nance for the Indians. Brings up a second and 11 for the Panthers from the Indian 47. Dragged down from behind by Corvaya. Brickus on the carry. Tackle made by number 25, Tony Corvin for the Indians. Carry good for a three-yard gain brings up third and eight for the Panthers from the Indian 44. Third and eight, Cent Centralia. Number 15, getting free and then being wrestled down by Cody Nance. That's good for Centralia Panthers. <laughs> 6 13 remaining in the game. Centralia leads this one 34 to nothing and is threatening once again. They're down to the Indian 20. Second and six at the Indian 16. Pitch this way. There's a flag. Cody Nance was being held. There's, gonna be a, there's a flag on the play. Company going to take it back to the 28 yard line. With 524 left in the game. Centralia leading 34 to nothing. Fly against the Panthers. Ever since the early in the second quarter, it's been pretty much all Centralia. Brings up a second down, second and 18 for Centralia from the Indian 29. Second and 18. Touchdown. 
40 to nothing. here in Centralia. Getting too much getting too much light from the from the field lights. And way too much to show you the scoreboard. We got a very nice lighted scoreboard here. drive kick. Bounce but fielded by number five for Clark County. About a 15 yard return. Number five, Ashton Roberts on the return. Ashton Roberts on the return. Out past the 30. By number 90, Bradley Kaiser for the Panthers. Indians will take over first and 10 from their own 32. Indian, Indian first and 10 at the 32. Leighton Bradley in quarterback, handoff to number 20. Number 77, Zach Hayden. And number 57, Jeff Milner combining on the tackle. Second and eight. Brings up a four minutes and, and ten seconds left for the Indian game. Round 35. Centralia leading 40 to nothing. This side, Garrett. This side, Garrett. Go, let's go. Bradley on the keeper. Spun around. Bringing up third down at about 13, the 40. Jaden Davenport on the stop. Ball by number seven, Leighton Bradley for the Indians. Brings up a third down. Third and four for the Indians from their own 39. Third and four, Clark, third and four for Clark County. Three and a half minutes left in the game. A running clock. They trail 40 to nothing. Corvaya with the ball. Running for a first down. Number 25 on the carry, number uh, Tony Corbin. Forced out of bounds by number 40, Trey Owens for the Panthers. Good for an Indian first down. First and 10 from around 49. Out of bounds near midfield. First and 10 at, the, at their own 49. Up in the center, ball loose. Bradley Kaiser in the backfield for the stop. Indian ball. 
2.30 remaining in the game. No gain on the play, brings up second and 10 from the Indian 49. Clayton Bradley from shotgun, looking to pass. Intended for Nancy, was hit and the ball got to his hands. He couldn't hold on to it as two receivers, or two defenders hit him. Under two minutes remaining. Third and ten, Indians from their own Third and ten, Clark County from midfield. Bradley going deep over the center, incomplete. Intended maybe for Corvaya, maybe for Roberts. Brings up fourth down. Intended for number 28, Christian Foreman. Fourth and 10 Indians for their own 49 yard line. Brings up fourth down for the Indians with just over a minute remaining in the game. Bradley rolls to his left and passes incomplete to Crowell. And the Indians turn it over on downs with 40 some seconds left. That may be the game. That may be the game here with first and ten from the Indian 49. The play clock has not started. The time clock is at 30. 28, 27, 26, 25. The play clock has not started. Centralia does not need to snap the ball. There's the play clock. It's at 20. The others at 17. They can do nothing or they can take a knee here. Clayton Simpkins in at quarterback for the Panthers. Three, two, one, and there is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Clark County Falls, 40 nothing to Centralia. You've been watching Clark County Indian football live on NemoNews.net. This is Mike Scott reporting for you. We've got the long drive home here, so we're going to be getting out of here pretty quick. Hey, good game, guys. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was a well-played game. It was clean. There were mistakes, but nothing, nothing dirty in the in the works at any point in for either team. Indians fall 40 to nothing. I have uh, probably close to 100 pictures that I'll be posting on the www.nemanews.net website this weekend. So take a look. Thanks for watching. Pick up a copy of the media because that's what supports this effort right now. So tell your friends we'll be covering like next week's game live. Uh, most likely we'll also be covering Tuesday night's home softball game, which is varsity only starting at 6 o'clock. Uh, there's no JV team from Monroe City, so it's a varsity only game starting at 6 o'clock. I will probably be covering that one live at home. And we'll see what I do for softball after that because I don't know the softball schedule off the top of my head. So... Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching.